What are some of the challenges also um, in, in this business? So, um, you know, getting new equipment, getting new technology, but um, what other, you know, yeah. hard things are there so to track? So, I think, um, I mean, obviously, the question that you asked was around last mile, and I think yeah. we've almost got a handle on the last mile. There are some challenges, and I'll get to that next, but I think we're also focusing in on how we can also decarbonize more the line haul. And for those of you that not, might not know what line haul is, it's m the more the medium haul, longer haul distances mm. that we travel typically between the hubs and the final depots. And that's typically, we run those, um, those movements with trucks. Mm. And so I think we've probably all seen e-vans on the road. I'm not sure how many of us have seen e-trucks on the road. Right. Um, and so that's also an essential part of our plan because 50% uh, of our carbon emissions actually come from those line haul operations. Yeah. And so we are working now on diversifying that um, line haul fleet Obviously, we believe very strongly in um, electric truck technology as a way for us to do that. Um, but we're also conscious of the fact that, you know, to have those are still need to come to scale. So we're also focusing at least as a transition fuel on um, HVO, for mm -hmm. example. Um, and, and, but also working more widely within the sector because we can't do it alone and we need to help create that demand for zero emission trucks. Right. And we're actually part of a coalition um, of companies called EV100 Plus where we're coming together to make our voices louder and mm. sending a r clear demand signal to the market, but also to policymakers, right. um, that we want to see the supply of those zero emission trucks uh, ramped up. What, what are, I mean, we heard maybe about the, the Tesla truck and, mm. and some of the uh, Nikita or, or so. What are, what are, can you name one or two suppliers who are already on the road? Like so, uh, Volvo, Scania. Well, yeah, I don't know if I, for advertising purposes. No, 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 but, um, <laughs> but so the, 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 the manufacturer that's got um, the most trucks available at the moment is Volvo. Mm -hmm. um, and so we've got actually a number of trucks that we're running within our network at the moment. We have around nine in Switzerland. Um, and we have um, in some trucks in the Netherlands and Czech Republic too. And we're trialing um, electric truck technologies, I think, in France and the UK at the moment. And, and these trucks, are they electric or is this some kind of a hydrogen electric no. mix? So for the moment, we're focusing mostly on electric. Yeah. Um, hydrogen, we see a use case for them in certain conditions, but not necessarily across our business in the future. Right. Um, so obviously, but one of the, the, the challenges that's common to both sort of the, the e-vans and also the trucks is the charging. Mm. And I think that's really one of the areas that we need to look more, and we are looking more closely at, because yeah. we've seen now, at least for the last mile, that we lack space um, at our depots in right. terms of um, being able to install the infrastructure that we need to charge our vans. And in addition to that, those issues are compounded by the fact that we don't necessarily always have the, the power that we need available on the grid on yeah. our sites. Yeah. So we're working now across the business to try and find the right solutions in terms of smart charging, how we can better do load management on those sites. And uh, more broadly also when we look at the heavy duty vehicles, it's how we can also work broadly with, um, with coalitions, for example, like the Smart Freight Center. There's also um, work being done by Mylands to understand where we can also, which corridors are the most used in Europe where we would actually want to see and need to see that infrastructure being installed. Right. So it's a big um, orchestration effort with, uh, let's say, new technology, even, let's say, maybe not competition, but, but co-opetition, uh, yeah. just forcing the industry to yeah. deliver you. I mean, I can just imagine at, uh, at night you have to see all the trucks on the you know, highways just parking. There's not enough parking space for them to sleep, and now where do yeah. they want to charge? There's not so like a... Yeah, and I think the, I mean, we're not speaking that much about the social dimension of trucking, yes. but that's also really important, is what um, services are available to truck, truck drivers um, when they are. And it's also almost thinking about charging as how we can also use some of their the rest times where that would, they would then be able to charge the trucks during rest times, for example. Yeah, exactly. um, so it's, it's, it's always about bringing the two together at the end of the day. <laughs>